Welcome back one and all to Red Dead Redemption 2. I am the Dark Seraph. Last time we did some bank robbing. Yeah. Sounds like it went very well. Good it did. This is another post commentary. Hopefully this will be the last post commentary. I checked the audio on part 50. It sounded just fine. I don't, I don't, like I said, I don't really like doing post commentary because I don't know what to talk about. I, I don't know what I should be do, talking about. I don't know what I should be handling, covering. I'm it's like I, I'm just rambling at this point. But you are. You're very sweet. Here I get some right. stew. Horrible, ain't it? Driscoll. Sweet. I'm not no Driscoll, miss. Okay, well, whatever you say. Still giving Kieran hell. I am sure what I did on this one. All I know is it's about 30 minutes and I've got rambling to do. So that's always fun, isn't it? Mr. Morgan. I'll get on those debts. Good, good. Or he did. I got one of them anyway. I'm, I'm just getting agitated now. I'm a little stressed that I don't happen to randomly sometimes. Uh, what, what's, what am I doing? What am I doing? Uh, this bloke. Yeah. Always good to keep a weapon in hand when traveling at night. In this game, anyway, there are clan bakers in this game. You, if you find them, you can kill them with no punishment or penalty, so that's fun. I think it's just a random encounter. Probably, I don't even know. I might cut the travel. Yeah, I'll probably just cut the traveling out and just zip right to whatever it is I'm doing. Yeah, in fact, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. You'll you'll hear my name rambling come back up after it. And you know what? No, never mind because it's literally right here. Shit. Focus on what's at hand. Howdy. Hey, partner. Doing a fine job. 
Hey, fellas. I have a meeting with Mrs. Braithwaite. My associates are already here. All right, that's enough. Move along now. I still think that old whore set us up. Sir? This way, sir. A gentleman to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Arthur, welcome. We were just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine How the fuck Brady. do you even play cribbage? You, you know what? I'm not, I don't care Apparently. about cribbage. So this one. He is big and as dumb as he looks? Yes. Well, he's surely big. But his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but... I probably I think, am. Well, he's not quite that dumb. <laughs> so these are the boys going to Caliga Hall? Yes, we could take care of that for you, but one hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper, bonds, metal... <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you with a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. Can I drive? Nope. <sighs> this is actually, I remember this one. This one's actually a lot of fun, but it's a little finicky. Get this over with. Simply put, you're trying to stir up a war between the Braithwaite's and the Greys, two crying, families man. that already fucking Look hate each other. It's, like that's I said earlier, it's a Hatfields and McCoy situation. Spoon, and I can stroke. predict that it's not it's going to end well for us. Okay. So what she got I can just do. tell you that right now. That ain't gonna go well for us. Just to torture tobacco fields. Not at all. Rain and weeks round here. What? What's in that back there? Moonshine. Born's faster than kerosene. That stuff. Said it'd be fitting. She did. Not only thinking this hell about my toy. But hey, give the brakes. No, just not the hell, bitch. Jose really picked the right fella for tea at the manor, didn't he? It really is, about all I can say. I need a drink. So I'm just gonna let this fall down. Jose knows what he's doing. Does he though? The master finagler of nothing. Easy, easy. So far, we've destroyed the brake weight still. Try to send the shine back to them. Now we're on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. They were saying old man Gray's double security after that business at the saloon. So, we're just gonna drive on in there, is that it? Don't worry, I got a plan. Yeah, it's still in gone, still name Ram. Let the folks talk. You know, that's all that extra professionalism, I suppose. Well, delivery. That's all. Just leave it to me. I can talk a dog off a meat wagon. <laughs> all right, then. Yeah, I'm not very good at driving, if you couldn't tell. Yeah. Whoa! Hold up a second. Are you not worried about them greys, English? Excuse me? You not worried about them greys? In what sense? Well, they knows you. Yeah, 
Maybe you're right. You know what? Here. I'll go hide in back. If you can act naturally and stop us from getting into a fight before we're ready. I will try. Yes. Try and do an impression of a human being. I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> <laughs> Like I said, I really like the humor in this game. It's just, they're always jabbing at each other, and it's funny. And now I wait. We're here. Stay out of sight. I'll do the talk. Hey, hold it right there. What you want, boy? I've, uh, I've, there, there was a thing, a, a thing. Oh lord! At the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? Here. Uh, uh, have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. I, I mean you no know, harm. Uh, I, I've come from Donegal in, in Ireland. You don't say. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> they said you'd understand uh, some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I, I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies, uh, sort of business. Uh, uh, before the officials got there, okay. they said. Okay. Grab this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink, Sean. Uh, Hamish. Good to meet you, Hamish. <laughs> uh, fine bit of country you've got here. Uh, not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Uh, is that right? And you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> <laughs> nearly brothers. <clears throat> Just over here. Yeah, it's straight down the path here. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, and they said they was looking for more drivers in town. I jumped at the chance. I ain't never been a fella to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> so, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. A bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Man, I wouldn't do that. Dear, I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half. Just in there. Ah, right you are. <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <clears throat> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. <clears throat> Quite a place you yeah. boys have got here. Take out the guard. <laughs> Reminds me of one of them Silently. big houses there. Uh, out in Donegal. Huh. Real fancy places they was, Hamish. Real fancy. Because if some folks... You can actually just hang around and let Sean do all the work. Fanciest places imaginable, eh? Mm. Well, the average man sups on shite, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> kind of like that. Nice work, Sean. What are you playing at? I was enjoying the monologue. I'm glad I'm not your brother. Where? Let's get on with this. I'm not the one who was dawdling. Okay. Good point. That's not what I wanted to do. It, gets dark. it is dark. Never mind. Sean's not really a sharp one. How you getting on? Good. Nearly got these things ready. Okay. This is a stealth mission. It's a little finicky, but there. it's fun. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. You head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine, 
And we light things up with these little fellers here. Thankfully, it ain't rained. And that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> How many of these boys you think you need? They should do it. Let's well, light them up. Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, there'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock, boy. I was bar burning down out of houses. We'll burn quietly. Now, anyway, this is a little bit of a finicky mission, but it is fun. Begin to get in this game stealth mechanics are just a little finicky. Oh, hey. Well, I, I thought the wagon already arrived. This one didn't. <laughs> so, what you got there? Tools, payroll. Okay. Drop it by the supply shed at the back of the fields. Sure. See you later. Just yeah. don't even question it. Payroll. Yeah. Let's get this job done first, okay? Just let me deal with our friend here. If you're gonna stab him, stab him in the lung. Good boy. On. You douse the fields, I'll meet you at the barn. Try to stay out of trouble. Wait till you're in the yellow and just pour until it goes away. Not much you really need to do other than that. Just watch out for guards and you shouldn't have too much trouble. That's good for you. Yeah, you really are. Please don't see me. I'm pretty sure he sees me. I don't remember how I really went out with this, but... I know it didn't go well the first time. Come on. Go away. There you go. I'm not even here. I'm a Wendigo. Ignore me. Just out here sampling your crop. Don't mind me. That's where I got caught. Last for it. Ah. Hey, who's that? Cause I wasn't watching the map. Yes, I know the guards were alerted. Thank you for pointing out that I suck at this game. Quiet. There's someone coming on the left. already arrived this we already know this strange so what you got there tools payroll okay drop it by the supply shed at the back of the fields sure see you later you hear that payroll yeah let's get this job done first okay just let me deal with our friend here Excellent work, Sean. Get the barn when you're done. Shine them fields up good, all right? Keep your head down.
just rinse repeat. That's good for here. I've got a few things to ponder. If the number two pencil is the most popular, why is it number two? Why do we press harder on the remote control when we know the batteries are getting weak? Why are you in a movie but on TV? What was the best thing before sliced bread? Why do we drive on parkways and park on driveways? Why do fat chance and slim chance mean basically the same thing? Why do British people never sound British while they sing? That should do it. At a movie theater, which armrest is yours? When does it stop being partly cloudy and start being partly sunny? When a Frenchman swears, does he or she say, pardon my English? Why do people say, heads up, when they should duck? These are just 11 things to ponder. Have you guys ever heard of Murphy's Law? Essentially what it means is anything that can go wrong, will go wrong. But I don't think anybody's heard of Cole's Law. It's thinly sliced cabbage. Eh? Eh? What's the difference between a frog and a horny toad? A frog says, ribbit, ribbit. A horny toad says, rub it, rub it. I've run out of things to talk about. Come on, buddy. Fuck off already. There you go. Walk away. Don't mind me. I'm just going to be watering your crops for you. I'm a nice person. Water them with some nice, fresh, delicious moonshine. Oh, something that bothers me about Stardew Valley. I can make bootleg beer, mead, ale, and wine in a keg with their respective ingredients. But if I put corn in a keg, I get corn juice and not whiskey. Somebody want to explain to me why I can't make bootleg whiskey? Alright, now that that's done, I just gotta go meet old Shawnee Boy at the barn. Maybe not, but Deshaun killed the bastard. Or you can just a quick dousing as well. Drying tobacco. Teach you go, Arthur. Light her up. Yeah. Now let's burn those bloody fears to the ground. Somebody shoot them already. Make your face. Well, so much for stealth. You ain't leaving here. Well, this one up. You get those fears properly gone. Uh, you don't want to get in the field because you will burn alive. 
and lose most of your health. Somehow, I didn't get killed from it. I'm not going to think too hard about how I survived. Time to start shooting. I got any kill shots in this one. Yes, I did. Awesome. It's more for the montage. I guess so am I. They seem to be taking a well. This is a goddamn mess. Let's go! Come on! Okay, Sean put him down. Got okay. shot there, you Irish bastard. This was a pop show and everyone would be getting pretty chill right now. Shot. Okay, let's get the hell out of here fast. You right, follow me. I have a new horse. Look for her is gonna be getting a little bit of a break. Yep. 
That's one way to kill a bastard. That went rather well. Jesus, that's going to do party. Do you call that a party? That was fun. I got a money for darling. Let's just get out of here first. The little fight Dutch has put us into the middle of here. Uh, I hope him and Jose are riding that there's some money at the end of it. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. You coming? Sure. I go ahead and ride back with him. back at camp and I have a new horse so that's pretty much the end of this episode not much else of anything happens especially since I'm 32 minutes into a 34 minute video so there's that's literally it thanks for watching join me next time on Red Dead Redemption 2 as I go do more crime things that stir up trouble for the Braithwaite and the Greys but until then I am the Dark Seraph Signing off.